<laughs> yeah, this dog knows how to hunt. Welcome to Coach Hayes Football, WRP Edition. Are you ready? Let, 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 let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coach Hayes Football, the WRE Edition class of 22 this is the channel where we watch react and evaluate to the top talent in the nation today's episode is brought to you by canesport.com where you can find all the latest information and recruiting news on the miami hurricanes football program now today we are looking at miami central's linebacker wesley basaint he a hot boy on the streets and everybody looking for his talent. So before we get started, do me a quick favor. Check out CoachAceFootball.com. It is the number one site for players, coaches, and fans. It is being revamped right now, but please join the mailing list so when it gets back up, I can send you out an email and you'll definitely enjoy the content that's on there. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And let's check out Wesley's measurables right now all right today we are looking at a young man named wesley basaint who plays linebacker and he is one of the most highly sought after linebackers in the country especially in the state of florida and definitely in the city of miami he is a four-star court on arrivals he's six foot one 201 pounds and this dude is a straight gangster as they tell me, I'm going to find out for myself. Now, he has every college in the country after him from A to Z. You name it, they after him. But he has already taken three official visits so far, and that is to the University of Miami, West Virginia, as well as Penn State. Now, he does have an official visit coming up in the month of September to Florida State University as well. So we're going to see what he's all about, man. Hopefully, he'll be making a commitment here soon. So we're going to see what this guy's talking about. We're going to check him out. So, Mr. Wesley Bassaint, you about to get WRE, my man. Miami Central Rocket style. <laughs> I love it. All right, Wesley, we're going to check you out right now. We're going to see what you all about. Let's see if you really going to be humble, poppy, as your Twitter account say. Let's get this thing rolling. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go. Great play right here. Great way to take on the lead block. Boom, with aggression. Taking your arms. This is one thing I can say about this very first clip that I like. Boom, good three point, right? One, two, three. And he extends him out, gets him off of him, and goes make a play. Great job right there. Boom, and then finish the tackle with straight aggression. I'm trying to tell you, I like 17, boy. Yes, sir. I like this. Let's go, baby. Skeet. Yeah, baby. You from the crib. I see it already. I like this cat, man. Let's go. All right. Playing off the edge. Good job. Been up mixing it up. He does. From what I see so far, there's those two clips on the run thing. He did a great. Oh, yes, sir. He did a great job with his hands. I'm liking this right now. So I'm on his fourth clip. I've seen him play off the edge he's already dropped back in the zone and now he's out here on the number two receiver mm, good gator tackle i love it i like this guy he seems to be complete fundamentally sound and aggressive that's the biggest thing and he wearing number 17 let me say this real quick here go, here go a little quiz for you guys in the chat who was one of the baddest linebackers coming out of dade county that wore number 17 y'all let me know in the chat below I might have something for you all right, here we go, Wesley. Plus, I want to know why you wear 17. Let me know, Wes. Put it in the chat below, man. All right, here we go. I want to I want to make a quick acknowledgement about something real quick, right? It's just subtle. So now this guy motions over. Notice he doesn't move. He stays the same. Now he has to take on this head on. Right now, technically speaking, for me personally, I don't like that. I want him to be able to take on half a man knowing what he has. Right now, he has this guy head on. A bigger guy is going to make it harder for him. So if he's an inside leverage guy, he needs to play him hand on heart, hand on shoulder inside. If it's the opposite, hand on heart, hand on shoulder outside. Hope that makes sense. That way you can keep this gap and you can keep the integrity of the defense. So therefore, it's not confusing. And I'm going to explain that real quick. See how he sticks his head inside, right? So now... 
He's inside, he's inside. Who comes outside? Technically, nobody. Better run it back in college. Gonna make us pay for that, right? Because he's gonna bounce this outside. They got a seal block where he can come up here, and now he's off to the races. If you stayed outside and you kept your eyes outside, forcing out, forcing him inside, now it makes the tackle that much easier. Hopefully that made sense. Let's get it. And they almost did it. You just did a good job jacking that dude up, man. <clears throat> Let's go. He can scrape to the ball. He plays downhill. Playing downhill, man. I'm telling you, this cat can go, man. And, and what I like about him the most, he's aggressive. He's aggressive on the block and he's aggressive on the tackle. <clears throat> Get some. Yes, sir. Keep driving him. I'm telling you, man, this guy, whoever get this dude, they got them a real linebacker. He ain't no hybrid, you know, a nickel. He going to be a, what you consider a linebacker. He going to be a problem. I can tell you that right now. And he's all over the field. He's in the middle. He's off the edge. He's playing in space on the number two receiver. That's what I like his versatility. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's talk about this. Back to what I'm talking about, understanding how to play these guys. So you hear, right? Boom. Now what you do is you actually lose the contain a little bit. Look how much pressure's coming up the middle. So you gotta be the wall builder here, Wesley. Don't let him outside, right? So you got too caught up with that guy. Keep him at arm's distance. You build the wall. Let the mouse trap work for you. Let these guys force him to you, right? You just so athletic, you got back around, but now that ball got away. You can make that tackle. Now, guess what it is? It's a sack way back here, 15, 20 yard sack. That's what I'm talking about. These are small things you can definitely fix, man, but I'll put these in the pros and cons of the game. Let's go 17. <clears throat> he know how to find that ball. This dog can hunt, boy. I'm trying to tell you, he know how to get to the ball. Look at this. This old school right here. Hey, Smitty, what you doing out there, man? Coach Roland Smith, man. Big shout out to you at Central. This old school right here, man. When you turn the guy back to it, guess what I know he playing? He playing, man. I can tell you that right now. He got number two locked up. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Good job, man. Great job on this. Look how he stays in phase, understands. Look at this. Right in the hip pocket of the guy. Look at this. Right in the hip pocket. Perfect. That's perfect technique, man, when it comes to playing man defense. Excellent. I see y'all boys, man. He's so aggressive on the tackle, man. I love that. You don't really see that. Like, you see a lot of guys chopping wood out there. He trying to punish a dude, man. And see, he plays downhill, man. He does a great job with that. I am going to say this. As I see him with these lead blockers, sometimes it's a little too much contact. I know that's going to sound crazy, and I'll explain more of that in the cons. Sometimes you can just run past those guys, man, if you know where you got to be. Don't let them big, ugly grab onto you and don't have to tussle with them all the time. Now, when you in that mix right there, yeah, you give them the business. But when you get in perimeter runs, man, look here. You get your rip, knock them off you, go make the tackle. Don't let the obstacle stop you from the objective. I hope that makes sense. Uh oh, he finna get pinned right now. Ski! Uh, uh. Great job vicing this guy, right? Great job with the corner right here. Let me go back just a little bit. So great job with 24 right here. Taking outside shoulder, forcing him inside, right here to the teeth of the defense. Great job right there. I see them boy. Look at them white jersey jumping on. That's how you do it at the crib, baby. You ain't gonna get hit once. You gonna get hit about six, seven times. Good way to get him off. That's perfect right there. Watch the extension in the arms. Look at that. Now he has no fight. Now snatch him off you, and let's go. Great job, seventeen. Great job. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's how you build a wall right there, baby. I'm telling you, this dude a ball player. I don't care about them rankings and all that stuff. This dude doing five-star stuff on a four-star status, if you ask me. Look here, boy. If I had a chance to vote, you have five stars for me. Uh, yes, sir. Got him playing. This is what I love about it. This is how much your coach trusts you. 
they on the what seven yard line six yard line and they got the linebacker playing man on the inside receiver and guess what he do jack him straight up that's how the crib play ball baby i'm talking about it let's go all right state championship game against lake mineola i'm loving it Seventeen a problem. I can tell you that right now, and a solution. The buzz, uh. and he seemed to be a sure tackler, right? Of course, I know this is a highlight, so of course you don't see all the things. But he, oh yes, sir, special team, go down there and make a play. But he seemed to be a sure tackler, man. Let's go. Come on, seventeen. Yes, sir. Serve him up, baby. Let him know. You ain't here to play, dog. We here to win. We went here to win. Chips, boy. <laughs> Watch out, Timmy. Watch out, Timmy. Somebody blow the whistle. Somebody blow the whistle. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. Let's go. All right, man. Let's get into the pros and cons of your game, Mr. Wesley Besaint, right now. <laughs> All right, Wesley, we finna jump into the pros and cons of your game. One, here's what I, that jumped off the tape on me. You are a linebacker that is not doing what a linebacker, a lot of linebackers are doing. You are playing the position. Most linebackers today are just strictly blitzing. Your coach got you blitzing up the middle, blitzing off the edge, reading, reacting. You playing in zone. You playing in man. Bro, you are doing what we want to see in linebackers today, man. Most linebackers that's highly rated, guess what? All they doing, blitz, 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 blitz. They basically become the fifth defense alignment. You doing what everything a linebacker is supposed to be doing. That's great. Second, you know how to get to the football. Third, you're aggressive on the blockers. Fourth, you're aggressive on the tackle. All right? And sixth, you like, you know how to play this doggone game. Now, let me get to the con of your game. There's only one major con that I really want to say is that, and I saw this, I just talked about being aggressive on the blockers. But some blockers don't need to be attacked. You can just run right by those dudes because they move too slow. When you get to that next level, them big uglies going to grab hold of you, man. It's not going to be that easy. Remember, them boys, <laughs> them some grown men, they 23 years old and they 315, 320 pounds out there and can move. So you want to get a, you want to elude them as best as possible. Also, don't take on the whole offensive blocker. You want to take on half a man, right? That makes it much easier. Trust me, wherever you go, those coaches will teach that to you. Other than that, man, you are certified ball in my eyes plus you from the crib dog it is what it is i love it all right so with all that being said man i'm proud of you uh not sure where you're gonna go maybe it's to you maybe it's penn state maybe it's florida state maybe it's west virginia who knows but we'll find out shortly so with all that being said man coach hayes i'll holler at you also make sure i almost forgot make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel now, Coach Hayes going to catch you at the 50-yard line.